way. We're at the point where we think that there should be a campaign to to um, to fund Amnesty International to to say we will pledge funding to you personally, get a campaign of people who say we will do that, but only in the circumstances where you will speak out for Julian Assange in some way. Um, that is, seems to be the best step for us to proceed to try and force a hand. And, and if there is a blockage, I really, really would like to know who to talk to to find out who that is, what that is, the reason for it. And is it international? It's not coming from within Australia? Right, yeah. Yeah. Well, maybe I should speak to them then. Maybe maybe that's the best way. If you guys are hamstrung, can't, can't really do anything, even if you wanted to, then perhaps I need to speak to the next person up. How else could you explain it when someone's human rights are being abused in such an appalling way when they're such a hero? I mean, how else could you explain it? It's like Nelson Mandela of our time. Seriously here. You must see that, yeah? Yeah, but he's the one who's uncovering them as well as everything else. So let's, you know, let's save him first so that we can have free press, you know? Seriously, like he's the one who's getting the information out there about the kind of human rights abuses that you guys can then fight for. So why are we actually abusing, abusing his rights quite happily? And so I really need to talk to the person that is causing this blockage please and and I'll talk to them next week it can be internationally it doesn't matter I'm calling from New Zealand anyway sweet thank you very much anyway and I do hope that you support Julian Assange even if you can't within your organization be great <laughs> just have a look at it look at the facts um